Okay, so I'm in the kitchen and it is Sunday afternoon and I am cooking our lunch and I thought it'd be fun to just give you, just do a quick video to show you a quick healthy lunch that you can make for your family. So let me flip this around. Okay, so in the pot we have some chicken that I bought from Trader Joe's that I love. It's a barbecue teriyaki chicken. It's pretty much already cooked. It's really just a heat and serve thing. And then in the pot, I also have this California blend because I want to make sure my family gets some vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and we also have some olive oil that I put in here so that it won't stick to the pan. Right? That's pretty cool, huh? And it looks really good. This is only going to take probably maybe five minutes to really get this going. I'll put a lid on this. And then I also use brown rice. This frozen brown rice that I got from Trader Joe's. I also got this from Trader Joe's. Love Trader Joe's because they have a lot of healthy, um, convenient options for you. And so all it is, it, ca it actually comes with um, three 10 ounce um, pouches of rice, which is, I think there's two cups of rice per pouch. Um, a half a cup of rice is, a brown rice is one serving of rice. And so, like I said, I also got this chicken. I don't know if I said that, but I also got the chicken from Trader Joe's. So the brown rice only takes three minutes to cook. The teriyaki chicken with the veggies probably takes another five minutes. So I would say in a good 15 minutes, you have a healthy, nutritious meal, satisfying meal for you and your family. And the, um, the teriyaki packets come with it so you mix in the teriyaki sauce and I'll show you what the finished product looks like in just a second okay so this is just about ready and like I said it's only been like hasn't I don't even think it's been five minutes but I, I put the lid on it and let it steam a little bit now just to make sure we have some flavoring to this some good seasoning just put a little bit of black pepper doesn't I don't use any fancy pepper but if you like fancy spices you could now this is like my secret ingredient that I love that I pretty much put on everything and even though it's a rub I really love it it tastes great on turkey burgers it's great on chicken and it's basically just sea salt honey garlic and mustard powder it's great and I'll put a little just a little bit of this seasoning on the chicken Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn the fire down just a little bit. I don't want anything to burn. Just going to go ahead and put the teriyaki sauce. You don't, you could, you know, get rid of this. You could, if you don't want to use the store-bought teriyaki sauce, you could make your own or you could you know not do it all to at all if your family doesn't really like teriyaki sauce my family likes teriyaki sauce so I'm gonna put this in mine then I'm gonna stir this around okay all right I'll be back in just a second to show you what this all looks like when it's on a plate. Okay, so this is what the meal looks like when it's finely plated. You got your nice broccoli, your carrots, your chicken, and a half a cup of brown rice. And this is a healthy satisfying nutritious meal that took me about 15 minutes to make between the brown rice and the teriyaki chicken with the veggies 
Now, there was a show that used to be on the Food Network called Semi-Homemade. This is my version of Semi-Homemade, where you cook at home versus going out to eat at a fast food restaurant. But you try to, you know, find ways to make it quick and easy and convenient and delicious for your family. So if you've been following the blog this week, you saw that there was a make one change challenge. My challenge for myself, was the change that I wanted to make is around nutrition and doing the things that I know that I need to do where nutrition is concerned. And basically what I've done so far is having eliminated a lot of the sugar that I was eating that I knew that I didn't need. And I also talk about these five mantras that I'm going by there's a book that I'm using to help me as I go through this process and you can see that on the blog if you check it out but I just wanted to do this really quick video like I said just to help you out and kind of show you what I'm doing if you have any other great tips that you want to offer please leave them in the comments and we would love to hear what you have to say so I am going to go and eat this with my family and I hope you have a great Sunday talk to you later